father's lesson. Today is Monday, means the most difficult day of the week. As much one feels comfortable coming home on Friday, that much difficulty one faces to go to school on Monday. And Anjali was finding it even more difficult today. She is Anjali and this story is about Anjali only. What fun you are about to have in school today, Anjali? Tell, tell. Why my child is so sad today? Because of me, no, I'm so upset today, Papa. There's no need to be upset. Stay away from her. Do remember, always be with those people who like you and with whom you love to play always. Don't give any chance to Minu to irritate you. Father's wise words used to work on Anjali like a battery. Once battery got charged, Anjali was ready to face any battle. Huh. Going to school was no less than a battle for Anjali. After all, Anjali the warrior had to face Minu. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You poor frog-eyed girl, what have you brought in Tiffin today? <laughs> you better don't irritate me. Go away from here. As much Anjali was afraid from Minu in school, that much she found pleasure in meeting her three friends, Raju, Chutki and Varun. Always used to be with Anjali, used to help her. And when Minu troubled Anjali, these three friends of hers never liked it. Whenever Minu used to trouble Anjali, Varun always used to tell Anjali to teach her a lesson. Varun didn't like quiet nature of Anjali at all. You also should have pushed her, Anjali. Why you always remain so quiet? Father always says better ignore Minu. Today we'll complain against her to teacher. No, come, let's go. There were only two reasons for Anjali to go to school. First one was to meet her three best friends, to study a bit and have lots of fun with them. And second reason was to share tasty lunch prepared by her mother with her three best friends. Everyone used to feel very hungry after Seema Mem's classes of craft and music. And during recess, all of them used to run for lunch. Lunch box of poor girl fell on the ground. Now what will she eat? <laughs> but naughty Minu used to harass Anjali anyhow by causing some of the other trouble. You naughty girl, I shall teach you a lesson. Wait, Chitki, ignore her. Let her go. That Minu always harasses you, and you always leave her like that. This is not right, Anjali. If you always leave her like this, then she will keep harming you even more. But Anjali was after all daughter of her father. She never gave Minu a hard-hitting reply and always stopped her friends too from doing this. Father says, more we will focus on Minu's actions, more she will trouble us. And by hitting her or replying to her, we will become just like her. And we don't want to be like her. Come now, class is about to start. It's okay, you can eat from my tiffin. Minu used to harass Anjali daily and Anjali didn't like it at all. To tolerate like this. One day, Anjali thought that whether by agreeing to her father's words, is she doing right? In the meantime, Seema teacher's class started. Perhaps that day attending Seema Mam's class was turning point of her life which changed everything for Anjali. Children, in tomorrow's class, we will learn something very special. For that, you all have to bring your toys along with you. If anyone wants, can bring little plants also to the class. Like this, we will be able to know each other more better. Yay! That day, after reaching home, Anjali thought that today she will clearly tell to her father that she isn't able to tolerate Minu's behavior anymore. Anjali, how come your knee is wounded? It's due to Minu. 
Today in the morning she pushed me very hard, and that's how I got hurt. But, but as you told me, I didn't give any reply to her. Varun said that I should also have pushed her. You did it right, my child. I'm so proud of you, my sweet little daughter. You don't like Minu because she hits you, harasses you, and always thinks about herself. Problem won't be solved if in return you hit her because she's Minu and you are Anjali. You are lucky because you have got such lovely friends and you are blessed with wonderful parents too. May be possible. Minu isn't blessed with all these. Therefore, don't ever raise your hands on Minu. Anjali found her father's word very wise. She thought there must be some or the other reason for such behavior of Minu. Regarding this matter, I shall talk to Anjali's mother and her teacher Seema. Everyone was waiting for the next day very impatiently. Every child was supposed to come with their soft toys. One night before, Anjali prepared her appu and gappu, and when she reached school, she found as if the whole class was no less than a zoo. Someone had brought elephant, and someone came with a lion, and some came along with tortoise. In class, apart from children, animals like tortoise, bear, and lion were also becoming friends. All the kids came to the class and carried their own toys, except for Minu. My, my sweet cat wants to meet your cute Appu and Gappu. Her name is Billu, and she is very hungry. Maybe possible she satisfies her hunger by eating Appu and Gappu. Anjali thought that today Minu's Billu will take rest after eating her Appu and Gappu, and then Varun shouted loudly, "Ah, uh, a cat! Take her away! I am scared of cats! Take her away!" <laughs> Someone, please help my cat! Please <laughs> take her down! <laughs> Please come down, Billu. Please come down. No one stepped forward to help Minu, and how could anyone? Billu was sitting at such great height. No one knew how to climb a tree. Anjali became very unhappy by seeing Minu so sad. You need not worry, Minu. Billu got frightened by listening to Varun's voice and by seeing us. Anjali started getting ideas after listening to Billu's meow, and then idea! I've got a wonderful idea with which Billu will instantly come down. Really? Anjali ran to it, see my ma'am. Teacher, teacher, can I have some milk from our school's kitchen, please? I want Minu's Billu to come down from the tree. Anjali told everything to her teacher Seema, and she asked Kaka to bring some milk for Anjali. Thank you, teacher. Billu, come. Look what I've brought for you. Tasty meal filled with cream. Thank you, Anjali. My behavior has always been bad for you. Harassed you, caused you so much harm. Can you please forgive me? It's all right. So will you be my good friend? Of course. And from that day onwards, Anjali and Minu are best friends. Not only Anjali and Minu are best friends with everyone, and their friendship is famous in the entire school. That day, Anjali realized that her father was right. Behaving bad with a bad person won't solve any problem. Good deeds and behavior done by us can make a person realize about their bad behavior.